Hi everyone, it's Lily Oracle Rice Bunnies. This is my clay toolbox and it's basically just the box that I have with me when I'm making my polymer clay charms and it has the majority of my tools in it. Um, this clay toolbox was purchased at TJ Maxx so you can either look there or maybe Ross or something like that. It's by the company Iris so I'm going to link below the company's website in the description box. Um, I've gotten comments from my UK viewers that they've gotten this same craft box from their hobby craft store. But as for um, people who live in the US, I'm not entirely sure where else you can purchase this. Um, you can check your local craft store in the organization aisle, you know what I mean, the storage. But um, I got mine at TJ Maxx. So it's just a clear plastic box like this. I know it also comes in pink because I saw it at TJ Maxx. And it has a little latch in the front that you just lift up. And when you open it, it has these two shelves that lift up and then this storage bottom unit here. So I'm just going to go in depth and show you guys all of the things that I have in my toolbox. So this is the top um, part to my toolbox. Over here I just have all of my head pins and eye pins and I have gold ones and silver ones. These are just little plastic cookie cutters that I have from my Poppin Cooking Gummy Land DIY candy kit and I can link that video down in the description box if you're interested in watching that. But um, I just use these sometimes for clay also. These four tools were purchased in a complete set by Sculpey and I got this set from Michaels. It was a very good deal, very inexpensive. I think it was under $6 for all of these tools and they are double sided. This is my one and only dotting tool. It's a complete mess. It has this end here and then this end, which is completely broken. I don't know where I got this. It's really old. And then this tool here is just a little plastic kind of thing from Sculpey. And it has these little um, attachments here that I will show you later that you just slide in and it works as a handle. And then this is just a little stand that I have that holds the little attachments for this. And all of these pieces that I'm going to show you are by Sculpey and I purchased this set at Michaels. And here I have all of my cutting tools. So I just have an X-Acto blade here. I also have some of my poly blades. So I have this straight blade, this kind of like um, ridged one, and then this um, bendable one. And these are by Fimo. And one of them also came with this like rubber th grip thing, but I took that off a while ago. This is the second shelf here, and it has a couple more containers, as you can see, than the first shelf. In this first section over here, I have my two cupcake molds, and I made these molds myself with Amazing Mold Putty, so I can't really tell you where to buy those. But I do know that a lot of people get their cupcake base molds from Miniature Sweet. These um, cookie cutters I purchased from my local country home store, and I just dropped one down there. So I just have a heart, another heart here, um, a gingerbread man, and this is just a little snowman with a scarf. And then randomly down here I have a little baggie of some TLS and clay that's mixed together. And I don't know why I still have that, but that's in there. In this next little compartment here, I have this little ball of tin foil that has my pink chalk pastels that I use for blush. And then these three little brushes are makeup brushes by Equal Tools, and I actually use them for shading. So um, these two I use for pastry shading, and then this one is the one that I usually use for blush. And um, Oh, and I know a lot of people just use regular like paint brushes for shading, but I don't know. I had these paint makeup brushes that I had and I decided to use them. Those weren't words, sorry. Um, in this middle compartment here, I just have my four Martha Stewart silicone molds that I got from AC Moore. So here's the bow one, the cherries, there is this cupcake one that I really love, and then the strawberry one. In this fourth um, little section here, I have the head of a toothbrush that I use for shading on a lot of my pastries. These are the five attachments that go with this little plastic thing that I was showing you guys earlier, and they are magnetically, um, you know, engineered, so that way they just slide in and clip on. So there is um, a needle tool, a ball tool, there is this blade tool here, and then these two silicone 
um, blending tools. Then back here, I just have a couple of mirrors. So I have these oval ones, and then I also have these circle ones. And then randomly, I just have this little um, female cane, and it's just a little flower. I didn't know where else to put that, so it's there. Over here, I have two pieces of sandpaper that I use for shading. And then here is this container of glue, um, which I actually haven't used. My sister just gave it to me and I put it in my toolbox. And then I also have this um, bottle of super glue that comes in handy quite often. Then finally, I have what is in this bottom compartment. So um, right here, I just have a nail buffer and a nail file that I use for um, just kind of buffing off any dust or rough fingerprints on my polymer clay charms after they've been baked. In this plastic bag, I just have a ton of these bottle charms that I got from Hobby Lobby. I have these little plastic containers that I purchased at the dollar store and in each one there's something different. So this one says shading on it and I have my chalk pastels in here that I use for shading all of my pastry charms. This one here says cookie cutters, so of course inside I have all of my cookie cutters. These cookie cutters came in a set and they were made by the company Sculpey. And I got the, this set from Hobby Lobby. And then this one, of course, just has my scrap clay in it. So here are just all of my scrap clay pieces in this tiny container. I have my wheel of cane slices, and um, I actually purchased this at Sally's Beauty Supply in the nail art aisle. So for any of you who are wondering, you can get it there, but it was quite expensive. I do remember it being around $7, so I don't recommend buying it from there. This is a little Hello Kitty tin that I got from Five Below and it used to have candies in it. But right now I just have my um, Wilton icing tips that I use for making clay icing. And then in here I also have just these little clay extruder inserts that I just never use. And speaking of my clay extruder, here it is. Um, I have never used this and if I could say anything to any beginner out there, I would say don't even bother investing in a clay extruder because I just, I, they're expensive and I never used it. So yeah, I kind of regret buying it. So that was everything in my clay toolbox. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Information will be in the description box about um, the company who made this box and whatnot. And I, again, I got it from TJ Maxx. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.